Right now on Denver 7 News at 6 a.m., plummeting temperatures and icy roads. It's a Denver 7 weather action day, and we're helping you prepare for what could be a complicated commute. I'm already seeing some deceptively icy spots out there. We have team coverage, so you know what to do and get ready for your drive. I'm Denver 7's Veronica Acosta. We're on C470 heading south, where we've already run into a few trouble spots this morning. I'm Denver 7's Christian Lopez. We're live in Denver, where roads are looking mostly wet right now, but you'll still want to take it slow. And this is just our first icy commute of the week. We're going to see another round of snow here by midweek. We're tracking our next storm, and I'll show you just how much colder it's going to get with that one coming up in a few minutes. And right now, we want to take a live look from our Denver 7 roof cam here at Spear and Lincoln. You can see all that snow on the ground. The road's still wet in spots, so it should be a pretty slow commute this morning as we're waking up to freezing temperatures and some slick roads. We have team coverage this morning on this Denver 7 weather action day. Veronica Acosta and Christian Lopez are driving around the metro to let you know how it looks in your area. Lisa and Jason, of yeah, course, boy, giving yeah. us a, a big no, picture of the conditions boy, like out there. And we want to start with Lisa because what a beautiful sunrise there behind you, but still it's mm. still icy out there. It is. It, yeah, gorgeous, though. This is the view from our Viero camera out east there in Lyman. Nice and clear out east. We do have a little bit more cloud cover here in town and up on the west side of town, but we'll be under a mix of sun and clouds today. Day. The mountains will pick up west of the divide another few inches of snow this afternoon and we'll see a little bit more cloud cover out west. It's pretty cold out there though this morning. Single digits and teens. We're going to be right around 15 to near 20 between about 9 and 10 o'clock and then highs are going to be right around freezing. So low 30s this afternoon. There is a chance that we're going to see a few light snow showers later today. It's a pretty slim chance. It'll be a partly sunny sky for us today with potentially a few light snow showers rolling east uh, later on this afternoon and early evening. Coming up, this is going to clear out. We're going to see sunshine in 40s tomorrow and then another cold front. Jason coming in right behind it on Wednesday. Details on our next storm here in just a few minutes. We have those deceptively icy conditions. I've been saying it from the very beginning. We, it looks wet. It just looks okay. You can go 70 miles an hour, but you can't because there's still a lot of icy spots. Here's one of them. This is the southbound side of I-25 right after Santa Fe before you get to Broadway. That's that Santa Fe overpass that would take you to northbound 25. You see this crash off here to the right. We've seen a lot of left lane uh, spin outs going over to the right side. Take a look at the quad split where you do see this one crash down in the Denver Tech Center northbound I-25 at Dry Creek. 270, we had a bad crash. I had it closed down for a little bit this morning over by I-70. 225, that's the scene of our latest crash on the map. You can see on the southbound side, have this wreck after I left before Parker Road. That's why it's extra heavy for us trying to get down to the Denver Tech Center. Pretty slow for us in parts of the Denver Tech Center. I-70, 270, they are open after earlier spin out crashes over there. And you can see the west side of town still dealing with some issues, including a crash over at Kipling and Florida. That's between Jewel and Mississippi. Over here on the south side of town, I've been seeing some pretty slick conditions over here. This is C-470 between Wadsworth, Platte Canyon, and Santa Fe. That's where Veronica Acosta is right now, taking a look at some of the conditions. So what's it been for uh, you there, Veronica? So we hopped off C-470 heading southbound so we could get a better picture for you here as we're driving this morning. Those on-ramps, those are really the issue this morning. And Jason, you always say it, those, that's what you want to watch out for. And take a look at the actual roadway now that we have a bit more light. You can see off to the sides there, those are really trouble spots. We're coming up on Santa Fe Drive here, but those are icy spots. And when you're moving lanes here, you can see that middle section between where cars have been driving. That's also pretty icy, so something to watch out for, of course, you're going to see signs like the ones we have right up ahead here that tell you the roads are icy, so slow down. And cars are not driving too fast. We're only going about 50 miles an hour this morning. Some vehicles, of course, feeling much more comfortable heading a little bit faster. Others going a little bit slower. We haven't seen too many plows out on this side of town so far this morning. We were seeing them more so on 285 when we were there earlier, but we'll keep an eye out for them. Uh, as far as the morning goes, we're in a bigger car and we're still shuffling around quite a bit. So something to watch out for as the morning goes on. Guys. All right. Thank you, Veronica. We want to get out to Christian Lopez near 8th and Federal, uh, where the roads behind you uh, have some slick spots as well, Christian, and you've been driving around too. Yeah, good morning, Nicole. That's right. We've been making our way all around Denver this morning, and it actually hasn't been too bad. Uh, we've been, ab been able to go the speed limit about 25 to 30 miles an hour, and it seems like other cars are also comfortable going at a pretty decent speed. Here in this area where we are, as you mentioned, there are some slick areas. You can see in the middle of the intersection right there, 
how slippery that looks. So cars have been being cautious in this area, but some of them are, are going, they're going at a pretty decent speed like we mentioned. And I wanna show you over here what I've been noticing as well since we've been here. This turn right here, you can see still has some snow on it. Cars that have been making a right turn have been very careful there to avoid any sliding. So we've been noticing that right there, still some snow. I did see some snow plows just a couple minutes ago going through here, making sure these roads are safe. We're gonna keep making our way um, to other areas to let you know what to expect as you head out this morning. We are live in Denver. I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. All right, thank you, Christian. Yeah, it's better this morning, uh, but the snow led to two serious crashes over the weekend. Police say 15 cars crashed, closing down part of northbound 225 for more than an hour last night. This was the view of that from the CDOT camera at Iliff Avenue, just south of Mississippi. Five people were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The highway reopened at around 1030 p.m. Earlier in the day, at least 50 cars were involved in six pileups on I-25 northbound at University Boulevard in Denver. This started around 330 yesterday afternoon. Only minor injuries were reported. Jason Luber, though, saying that a lot of this was just the result of people going much too fast for those conditions. You can get weather and traffic updates anytime. Just download the free Denver 7 Plus app to your streaming device. New from overnight, Russia declared a ceasefire to open temporary routes for civilians to evacuate from four major cities in Ukraine, including the capital of Kyiv. But there is skepticism from Ukrainian officials as Russia previously violated a recent ceasefire agreement. Meanwhile, a third round of negotiations between Russia and Ukraine are taking place today. According to U.S. intelligence, Russia now has roughly 95 percent of its combat power in Ukraine. It has launched more than 600 missile strikes in the invasion. Right now, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in the Baltic states discussing joint efforts with other world leaders to support Ukraine. A real estate agency with offices here in Colorado is looking to help Ukrainian children who have had to flee their homes. Realty One is holding a toy drive. You can fill a shoebox with toys and drop it off at their locations in either Denver or Lone Tree today or tomorrow, and they will ship the boxes to Nevada and then on to a partner in Poland who will distribute them. Looking ahead to tomorrow, the two finalists for Douglas County Superintendent will hear what the public thinks about them. Last week, the school board named former interim superintendent Aaron Kane and executive director for the Parker region, Danny Windsor, as the finalists for the job. During tomorrow night's board meeting, the public will be able to weigh in. There will be another opportunity for public comment on March 22nd before the board makes a final decision. March Madness has arrived in Colorado. CSU fans stormed the court Saturday after the men's team beat Boise State and they finished the regular season 24 and 4. The CU Buffs are the four seed in this week's Pac-12 tournament. Their first game is Thursday in Las Vegas. The Buffs beat Utah to end the regular season at 20 and 10, but they will need a deep run in the conference tournament to earn an NCAA bid. Meanwhile, Nuggets star Nikola Jokic put on one of the best performances in NBA history last night. He scored 30 points in the fourth quarter and overtime to give the Nuggets a 138 to 130 win over the Pelicans. The Joker ended the game with 46 points, 12 rebounds, 11 assists, four blocks and three steals. No player has ever done that in league history. Yeah, he can do it all. And after the big game, <laughs> Jokic was his usual humble self. I had a good energy and the ball was finding me and I was, uh, I was, uh, I was uh, making, I was scoring it. My teammates, teammates uh, I was looking for me, so I'm just happy to, uh, to win the game. Just such a confidence, you know, that you have because you know in a close game, he's so clutch, he's going he's gonna to make the play again and again. Um, you know, so for, for him to step up the way he did, um, it just speaks to his greatness. Now he's in the running for another MVP award. Yeah. Uh, the Nuggets have an important game tonight against the Warriors, although all-star Steph Curry will not be there. He is sitting out to rest. Tip-off from Ball Arena is tonight at 7. Lisa. He makes it look so easy, mm -hmm. and, and he makes that net look so short and low, doesn't he? <laughs> We've got temps right now in the teens and 20s this afternoon, right around freezing. Chilly today. There will be a slight chance for a few light snow showers later on. I'll show you that. Tomorrow things are really going to clear out, but then we're tracking another storm. I'll show you how much more snow we're expecting midweek coming up. This is one of our many slide off and spin out crashes that we've had here this morning. This is the northbound side of Santa Fe. Right before you get to Hamden, you see a trash trucks involved. He's facing the wrong way. A couple of uh, pickup trucks. 
routes. There's one. There's another one in here, too. So just the left lane on northbound Santa Fe is getting past it, trying to get up to Hamden. Slick conditions along Santa Fe and down here in Littleton. Take a look at some of those other problem spots for you coming up in just a bit. This is interesting. No more waiting around for your phone to charge the new technology that will give your battery a full boost in minutes. Plus, I'm John Mattery's planning a wedding in the next year or two. You might want to budget some extra money. I'll tell you about the latest pandemic price hikes and delays coming up.